So here we have another Mercedes-Benz ML320 CDI. The last few MLs we've had have actually been 2009 models. And the reason why we're specifically getting the 09 series is because it's actually the update. It's got the much newer wheels, the newer interior, headlights, along with many other extras. The good thing about this car is it's a diesel with the soft leather. It's got memory electric seats, reverse camera, Bluetooth, a sunroof, and the list goes on. It's got the very reliable seven speed gearbox and you get a significant amount of power from this turbo diesel engine. For a family car, I think it's been very well looked after. It's been serviced at a Mercedes-Benz dealer. It's got Pirelli tyres on it. It's actually got Pirelli Scorpion tyres on it, which, uh, which is actually what I have on my SUV. The soft leather in the back is incredible. It's like new. It doesn't look like it's been a family car or it's had baby seats in the back or anything like that. And you might ask why that would matter. Um, just because they, they tend, to, tend just to get a little bit grubby. The same goes to the back. It doesn't, it doesn't have any dog hair or anything in it. In it. And the reason why I'm bringing that up is because it's, it's a family SUV. So a lot of them have had children in and out of them for the past seven years or eight years. The family dog, which is great. Uh, however, it's, it's, not as, it's not as ideal for the uh, second owner. It's got a two-stage back seat, so it folds up like that. There's your first sign, so I can't see any dirt or sand under there, which is good. It's much for like going to the beach. It's very hard to get sand out, out of the car once it's in there. There's just so many nooks and crannies under the seats. It is difficult. But this, again, doesn't look like one of those cars. So they're very comfortable. It's got the factory Mercedes-Benz mats, which is great. It's got memory electric seats, drivers and passenger side. You've got navigation, reverse camera, front and rear parking sensors which makes it very easy to park. And it's also good for resale down the track. The tyres do look quite new. The wheels are in a reasonable condition. I mentioned the fact that it's got a sunroof. This is how you can tell the difference between a 08 series and a 09. See on the front light, you've got that, that little section down there. That's how you can tell from looking at it. There's obviously a number of other differences I think there was about I think there was 50 or 60 changes to the car but you can't always see them it sometimes changes with gearbox engine spec level and safety but if you've been looking for an ML like this one I think at the moment we've got three or four of them in stock and uh, we've just sold two or three as well in the past couple of weeks so they're very desirable I find that most people are interested in the diesel, which has got more power, better economy, good resale, etc. But if you would like to come and have a look, give us a call. We are the Old Timer Centre. Our number is on the website. You can ask for Richard or myself, Philip, and uh, either one of us will look after you. And thanks again for watching our video.